Hello! This is Six Birds in a Trench Coat, welcoming you back to another Planet Zoo video. If you like it, don't forget to like it. Now, obviously, I am very well aware that the latest free update has just been announced, and personally, I can't wait to accidentally on purpose set my elephants free. However, what better time to start writing your Christmas wish list than the day after your birthday? So here are five wishes for future free updates. Number five. More recolorability in enrichment items. Now all of these are recolorable. Most of them, in fact, are recolorable, but a few of them are not. And these small balls, in particular, annoy me. I find myself using these small balls a lot and wishing that I could just have them one color or some other colors. And while this one is officially recolorable, it has a little thing. If you change all of the recolorable colors to white, you get cauliflower. So a completely recolorable small ball, I guess, is my very small wish number five. Because I really don't see where this thing would fit perfectly. Unless, of course, you have a very particular theme in mind. Number four. Much along the same lines, I want more natural-looking enrichment items. Because even though we can recolor this one, it still looks like brown plastic. Or maybe chocolate, which is not good for animals. And if your plan is to incorporate these things into a natural-looking habitat, this one is just so much easier to do that with. Another example, compare this one to this one. Or this piece of plastic-looking, even though I colored it in the same color as the rocks, water spray a thingy versus that one. And the bubble machine, we only have the plastic version. I want a rock version. And yes, I know, with these things, you can hide them completely. And then redo the terrain around them. But you can't hide a ball and still have it be functional. And even if we get a recolored version, why not give us a, a, a pine cone instead of the tennis ball? Or not, no, see that's my point. Not instead of the tennis ball, as an addition. Because the opposite issue exists too. What if you're building an old-fashioned looking zoo where natural objects are not really a part of the design? A lot of the balls work great. A lot of the plastic objects work great. This log, we need a plastic tunnel or a concrete version of this thing. Oh, and make it recolorable, please. Number three. Number three. For number three on the list, let's go into settings. I want, this is sandbox mode, and I want more detailed settings in sandbox mode. Because sometimes when I play sandbox, I want to build the most insane things possible. And sometimes I want a realistic feel. One example is the animal plant need. If you turn that off, they won't have a required coverage value or biome and continent requirements. What if I just want to turn off the biome and continent requirements? Because in real life, an animal doesn't care where the tree comes from as long as it's a tree. Same goes for the terrain needs. All it says here, animals will no longer have terrain requirements. But that actually means two things. One, they don't care how much space they have. You could have an elephant on four by four meters. Two, they don't care if it's soil or grass or sand. Again, I want those two separated. I want to be able to say, my animals still need the space that they need, but they don't care if the grass is long or short. Two clicky thingies instead of one. Please. Number two. Now for number two, we need to be out here and we need to pretend to be opening a new franchise zoo. Select a random biome and a continent. Yes. I want, and let me preface this by saying, I don't think this is actually going to happen, but I want a bigger D 
difference between the easy, medium, and hard setting. Specifically, I want the hard setting to actually be hard. Now, in easy, we have guests are better educated, more happy, won't ask for their money back. That basically, it's easier to make money from them, they're easier to make happy. Staff don't get so tired, they move a lot faster. Animals don't get bored of, the, of their enrichment items, they take longer to die. They're just more happy-go-lucky. Hard mode, they get stressed, they will die, they get bored, guests are idiots, and staff is lazy. But, it says here, animal welfare is harder to maintain. I've played on easy, and I've played on hard, and that's not a difference I can feel. At all. But what if all of the animals' needs were just more in hard mode? What if the polar bear still had its insane original land requirements in hard mode and maybe only needed 2,000 square meters on easy? What if things like the plant coverage had a wider margin on easy and a much narrower one on hard? So, for example, on easy mode, it could look like this. It needs at least, I think that's about 10%, all the way from 10% to 100 is fine for this little dude. But on hard mode, maybe they need between 50 and 70. Just narrow that white bar in and make the demands more specific and more difficult to meet. A third example of what could be different between easy and hard mode is something like reproduction. This says that moose are difficult to breed. If I stick two moose in a habitat, I get overrun. What if, on hard mode, it was actually difficult? And of course there are multiple things that could make it more difficult. Maybe the animal just needs a higher welfare score in order to even mate. Maybe the animal's personal fertility rating gives it less of a bonus when it comes to how many babies it will make in a litter. Or with regards to whether or not it'll conceive. Or both. Maybe the research bonus could be lower. It could be 10% and 20 instead of 15 and 30. My point is, I have 6 million penguins and they have never been under 80% welfare apart from the glitch where they forget that they do in fact have deep water. My point is, I want franchise mode to be more challenging. Not more annoying, I am really looking forward to not constantly having to micromanage these suckers. That will be amazing. Probably my favorite part of the coming upgrade. And yeah, I know I sound really frustrated a lot of the time in my videos when I'm talking about what I want from the game. But before I move on to the number one wish on my list, please allow me to point out that this is in no way a criticism of Frontier or of the game. I love this game, which is why I think I expect so much of it. And now, for number one on my list, I have loaded a completely different zoo. Yeah, this one is big, but the reason I've loaded this one is to first demonstrate one of the many, many things I love about this game, which is the level of customization possible. This right here is a restaurant, fully functional, decked out as a worn down old diner. And here we have a cutesy pastel picnic area complete with the fake seagulls and the ambient speakers with ocean sounds. I mean, could the styles be more different? The answer is yes. Yes, they could. This one is a hippo. And again, it's a fully functioning restaurant. You walk into the face of the hippo and magically appear at one of the gray and pink tables that matches the color scheme. But there is one thing that all these dining establishments have in common. No matter where you go, whether you're inside a pyramid, or inside a hippo, whether you're looking for a taco, or pizza, or a milkshake, or a souvenir, all of the vendors are wearing the same horrible, ugly, orange shirt. And that is every vendor, in every store, 
in every zoo on every continent in the world. You could build a zoo on the moon and they'd still be wearing orange shirts. What I want, what I really, really want, to quote the Spice Girls, is recolorable staff uniforms. And I'm not talking about giving every individual staff member their own personal color. I just want to be able to say that in this zoo, my vendors were blue or green or whatever. Now, ideally, I'd be able to change this by work zone, but being able to do it by zoo would still be amazing. Because I know that orange is the new black, but really? So please, pretty pretty please, give me recolorable balls, recolorable shirts, and all things in between. And I will be as ridiculously happy as this guy. Bye.